This is a call to arms. Cast off your current self and be more. Welcome to MFT 28's leg mass workout. This is the leg workout you guys are gonna do in the mornings to build the mass. The wheelhouse, we call this workout legged. Some people pronounce it legit. Either way, both are accurate. Seven exercises, working the fast twitch muscles, building the mass of the muscle as well as the shapers and the endurance of the muscle, guys. Building that wheelhouse of life to transport you guys through the mud and life to the higher ground. And why? Because once you get up there, guys, the view is something you've never seen before. Legit begins now. Uh. Prior to exercise one, guys, I need you guys to do about a five minute warm up. You know, stretch out a little bit, break a sweat, make sure everything's loose and ready to go, man. We're trying to get strong here, not injured. Leg is one of those exercises in the whole workout muscle region that is one of the biggest muscle groups. So it releases all that natural testosterone to the rest of your body. So the rest of your body gets a little bang for the buck. It's also one of those muscles that's very easy to injure yourself from. So I'm gonna say it again, I said it before, the three keys here, guys. One is a form of the rep that's most imperative. The second is the speed of the rep. The last of the priority is the weight of the rep. Don't worry about the weight. You guys can do higher reps to get the same amount of burn. It's about finding the burn, maintaining the burn. That's where the growth comes in. Exercise one, guys, of this leg it legit workout. Standard squats, when we do the first part of the squat, we're coming all the way down, breaking 90 here, guys. Breaking 90 and then firing back up. We're gonna hit that for about 10, 12 reps. After that, we're gonna lighten the weight a little bit, come underneath and then put our feet out right here so that when we come down to a 90 this time, it's exactly a 90 degree, I call them chair squats. You can't do this type of lift without the Smith machine because you'll fall back. So your standard squat is gonna be working your ass, your quads, your hams, and your calves. One of the 90 chair squats, man, you're really just hitting the front part of your, of your thighs here. 10 inch on the first part of the superset, the second portion of it all, just kind of burning out to failure. Depends how hard you've gone the first part on how many you can do. Here we go. So again, about shoulder width right here, right below the bar. We're gonna come down past 90 here, and then back up. You'll be driving from your heel, guys. You notice as I come down here, it's like literally my toes off the ground. Driving from my heel right there, not from your toes. Lighten the weight. Oral rack and our feet are gonna go probably about a foot and a half. A foot and a half forward, shoulder width, coming down to 90 right here, like we're sitting on a chair, and back up. Really just burning out. Quadrant. Now, I love Smith Machine because you know it takes a risk out of anything. Anytime you really start hitting failure on these things, especially if you don't have a partner, the Smith Machine ensures that you don't go into a jeopardizing position on your body that can really cause a lot of injury. <sighs> That's the end of set one, guys. We have two more sets. Got about a 90 second interval rest period before we hit the second set. Workout guys, all hamstrings. They're on the back of the back of the leg right here. Three parts superset. Deadlifts to start with, kind of straight leg, a little bit of bend. That's the first part of the superset. Really killing the hamstrings. Right after the deadlift, we're gonna come in front of the bar. Same exact motion, but now the bar's behind us. 
doing the same motion but it's behind us. What's that all about? It's hitting it from a different angle, man. The muscles in here are so vast and there's so many different angles. The more you hit them, the more fibers are tweaking, man. Take advantage of that. The third part of this is gonna be more hamstrings. It's gonna be a eccentric portion of a body weight leg curl. Like there's a lot of machines that you get in there and you do leg curls. That's the concentric portion. We're gonna do the eccentric portion with our body weight. Probably like five or six times at the very most. You'll see what I'm talking about there. Here we go, guys. I like use the straps, man. Gives you a little bit more strength as your body starts to hit failure. So we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna go a little bit past 90 here. As we come back down, we're gonna try to keep our back straight and our legs as straight as we can. Coming down, whip the touch, back up. Not very strong on these guys. You don't need a lot of weight for them. So again, we're coming in front here. Same kind of grip placement. Come up. It's gonna come right up our ass line here. Coming back down. Hamstrings should be pretty fired up right now, but they're not done yet. Grab this weight of the bar. Bring it over to our preacher so that when we're leaning forward, we don't put the entire bench up. From here, guys, our knees are going right on the edge. Feet locking in the back here. We're gonna slowly lower ourselves down, like a five second count. Once we hit the bottom, catch ourselves, push yourself back up. really hit the eccentric portion of the muscle, which is the biggest mass builder of any lift. The concentric is the muscle being flexed while shortening. The eccentric portion is a flex state of the muscle forced to elongate in a flex state. That's the biggest mass build, guys. The more times you can do those eccentric portions, like negatives, you can get a lot of bang for the buck of your time spent in that investment. That guy's gonna make you walk funny tomorrow. That's gonna build your hams up, man. Legit workout, man. Basically, we're doing a straight bar squats. But we a little twist, man. You know I got a twist for you. We'll put that bar over top of our shoulders, right? Nice wide stance. Why is this plate here? We're not gonna put it on the bar. We're gonna move it. These are called plate movers. We're gonna stand here with the weight on our shoulders right here. The plate right between our legs. You guys have heard of abductors and abductors working the inside and outside portion of the leg as we push it in and out? That's what we're also gonna work in this, in this process. With the weight over top of us, we're gonna, we're gonna go that way first. This leg's gonna come over to this weight, kicking it over to the left, far. From that portion, then we're gonna step. Notice my foot, it's going outward, so I'm working the inside portion of the calf. Come down here in a wide sumo squat. Then I'm gonna fire up. As I'm firing up, I'm not firing straight up, I'm firing off to the side. So what am I doing there? I'm working a little bit of my ass, a little bit, a little bit of hamstring, kinda like a lunge. As I fire back up here to the weight, reposition myself, do it again to the other side. Pushing this leg over, boom coming down and fire myself back up. Not straight vertically, but on a diagonal. This is probably something you guys have never seen before. 
If you've never seen it before, you can bet your muscles have never felt it before. It's not even muscle confusion, it's muscle beatdown, man. All the different angles we're doing are hitting the muscles in different ways it's not used to, causing nice, healthy micro tearing. And that rest and recovery outside of the gym, it starts to rebuild all those fibers. Dude, you're getting 100% bang for your buck of your effort and your investment you put forward today. Pushing the leg out, man. Balancing on one leg at a time. A lot of core work in there to stabilize yourself. It's kind of like, you know, travel back to high school. You know, you had those bullies that picked on that kid and uh, used to beat him down. You know, it took that kind of abuse to learn self defense, to protect himself. Doing this kind of stuff when your muscles aren't ready for it, and beating them down gives them the reason, the demand to grow from. one guys here in the legit workout. For this one we do the calf raises, one on the Smith machine. We're gonna come under the bar. When we're here, if you look at my calves and my toes are pointing straight forward and I come up, I'm hitting all areas of the calves kind of neutrally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exhaust this. We're gonna hit it about you know, 15, 20 reps here with weight on the bar. Then we're gonna come in and put our toes inside. Anytime our toes are inside and we do our calf raise, we're working the outside portion of the calves. So toes in works the outside. Then we'll come around, put our toes outside, and do calf raises. That portion works the inside. So toes in works the outside part of the calves. Toes out works the inside portion of the calves. Neutral hits both sides kind of evenly. 15 reps, 15 reps, 15 reps. So about 45 reps set here, guys. When you do it again, guys, full range of motion. So come to the edge of this thing, come all the way down, hit the negative portion, and come back all the way up. Try to pause at the top. Back down, all the way up, full range, guys. It's lock and load, man. If I were to ask you guys, leaving your house, how would you get to the supermarket? You could probably give me very concise directions. You go down this street, you make a left, go down main, turn around, boom, make a left here, turn to the parking lot, you know exactly how to get there. Now we'll go toes inside, heels out. You don't just jump in the car and start driving and hope you just end up there. It's a plan of action. This workout is the same type of plan. We need to put that same philosophy of having actual directions from a start to a finish, beginning, middle, and end for success. This workout, if you look at the modules, how it's broken up, the very first two, three of them are the mass builders, right? Then we're gonna to get to the endurance of the muscle. Right now, we're at that break in between. Now our toes are gonna to be outside, heels inside. It's not just coming here, going through the motions, and just doing calf raises. There's more parts to the calves. There's more parts to the quads and the hamstrings. We're really gonna start to dissect these, kind of like a surgeon. How do you know you're doing it right? There's a temperature difference. If you put your hand on your calf right now, you put your other hand on your bicep. One's hot, one's cold. That means we're exercising the right way. Two more sets to go. Lunch pass throughs to lunch sprints. The lunch sprints will be on the Smith, lunch pass throughs with the kettlebell. When you do a lunge, guys, and you come all the way down this knee, just kind of touch and go on the floor, but the alignment from your knee to your toe, right here, you step it out, it should be 
on the same plane. Meaning you don't want to step too short where you come way over top. And you don't want to step too far out where you only get to about here. You want to step it so you kind of come right about to there where that knee touches the ground and then back up. That's the proper distance of the step. And in a lunge, you're working with the thigh, a lot of ass, a lot of hamstrings, a little bit of calves. But what this is really about is building the endurance of the muscle. Very weak state right now, forcing it to push past where it currently is, limited base of oxygen, really building the aerobic process of the anaerobic conditioning. Right here, we're gonna step forward. As we step forward, we're gonna pass the kettlebell through and then shoot it back up. And then we'll go to the other side, passing it through. As soon as we finish that, probably about five reps aside there, we're gonna come underneath here and so we'll be lunge sprints. Grabbing the bar, nice wide stance here. We're gonna come down, we're gonna fire off, man. Boom, we're gonna come right back down and back and forth with the weight. Here we go, man. Exercise five. to a lunge sprints, man. Get the bar comfortable on your shoulders. Right here, we're gonna split the distance. So about halfway, four with one foot, halfway back to the other foot. Coming down, firing in. Five, five, side, here we go. Guys, there's two types of pain in the world. There's the pain that hurts you, and the pain that changes you. That pain right there, I always salute. That's the pain in progress. I take that every day. You better get to know it. If you want to become that person. guys, almost there. It's gonna do a leg press off the Smith machine. Our back's gonna be on the ground, full extension. Knees coming down to our shoulder pits, basically, and back out. As soon as we finish that, rack the bar, strip the weight, and do one-legged squats, man. Leg press first, guys. Crawl underneath here, put that bar right there, nice and low. About shoulder width on the legs here. We're right on the balls of our feet. As we press out, we'll rotate the bar so the bar will be kind of like in our archway of our foot. Hands right on the side here, holding it. So start off with the balls on the feet. As we press forward, the ball will naturally rotate into the archway of our foot, and it's nice and secured there. So boom, there it is, coming down, back up, full extension. Knees into our armpits, let's rock it out. Go to the burn, man. That burn should be somewhere around like 12 reps. In life, always bet on yourself. You never lose when you bet on yourself. Your greatest hour isn't in the past. It's still to come. And if you're not willing to lose this, then there's nothing you can gain from it. it comes back down, grab your hand here, and then rock it back, secure it. As soon as that happens, strip the weight off. Bring the bar up the shoulder width. We're gonna come underneath of it. No weights on here. It's all body weight, one-legged squats. As the right foot goes down, left foot stays straight. Go straight out in front of us. Other side. That exercise will bring you to your knees, guys.
Last one, guys, on a legit workout, man. I'm spinning strong and driving a nail in this coffin in this workout. Our legs are pretty smoked right now, man, I'll be honest with you. Walking is somewhat challenging. You know, they're burned out. But guess what? We're going to smoke them out now, man. Total fast switch muscles, total endurance, building the aerobic conditioning of our legs right now, our wheelhouse. We've got a bench here, two-part superset, guys. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here low. We're going to fire up. We're going to jump over the bench, landing on the other side. When we get to the other side, we're going to turn around and go back. That completes one rep. Do five reps, ten reps, whatever you got. It depends how smoked you are coming up to this point. But we're going to go all the way past failure and beyond. After we finish the bench jumps, right, then we're going to do bench sprints. That's putting one foot here high, other hand posting it, we're gonna come up, boom, switching legs and coming back down. And it's kind of sprinting it back and forth like that. Your legs will tell you when it's time to stop, trust me. They just will stop working on you. It's the last exercise, man. Let's leave it all here, okay? Here we go, man. Let's do it. Bring your knees all the way up. Two your stomach and back down. All right, sprint time. The wind's gonna be firing too, man. That's all I had there, man. I tell you, every gym should be equipped with a wheelchair because I'm gonna need one right now. Two more to go. What's up, MFT28 leg mass workout? We call it the legit workout, man, because that's exactly what it is. Because so I went in there and did it all. Gave every rep all my heart, all my blood, all my sweat, all my tears, all my desire where I wanted to go. It's your character and your work ethic behind the workout that makes it legit. That's your mass morning workout, guys. It's the same evolution, same blueprint as your cardio leg workout you're going to do this evening, along with the abdominal workout. Look at the page below to check it out. Your greatest hour, guys, is in the past. You're building it right now. It's to come. It's in the future to be. Are you going to be ready for it? That's up to you, guys. You want to get an edge on it? Go to bodybuilding.com. Download the entire program, MFT28. Learn everything. Go to greatfoot.com if you want to see more of my workouts, my philosophies, and teaching. Either way, MFT28 is here because we expect you and everyone else to be more. Thank you